Hello. Today I'll be talking about movie review number 55. And this movie is called The Burnt Orange Heresy. This is a 2019 film directed by Giuseppe Capitoni. Um, and I thought it was really good. I'll give this a 9.2 out of 10. I saw this movie on August 10th, 2020 at the Marymount Theater in Marymount, Ohio. So, it's about a man who, who is tasked with interviewing a well-known painter who hasn't been in contact with anybody for like 50 years or something. And there is a reason for that, but I'm not going to give any spoilers anyway, spoilers away. But, this is a suspenseful, thrill thrilling film. Um, I do like this movie. It makes you think a little bit about what's going to happen next. And I will say, there is a meaning behind the burnt orange heresy. I will say this, it is the name, well, it is the name of a painting. That's all I'm going to say. Well, let's just say it was the title of a painting. I'm it's kind of confusing to discuss without, without not seeing any spoilers, but I will say there was there was a meaning behind the burnt orange heresy, and I really like this film. It stars actors like Mick Jagger, Elizabeth Debicki, Cross Bean. I think that's his name. He's the main character in the film. Um, I think there's some of the act the other actors' names, but those are ones I remember. Yeah, Mick Jagger is in this film. Yeah. He is the one that wants the main character to interview the paint the well known painter who was played by Donald Sutherland. That's it, yeah. Um yeah, it was really suspenseful, thrilling, um, I really, really like this film. It's not for everybody, but I do recommend several people to see it. For those who write paintings or independent movies, just be advised it is an all weird film. And... The beginning of the film kind of goes into detail why it has that rating, but I won't discuss that. Go see the film to find out. And one of the things I write about the film is that there is a reason why this painter, who was played by Donald Sutherland, hasn't been like, interviewed by someone for a very long time. But I really like the fact that his and Elizabeth Debbie Dibbity's character have like, um, a sort of, I wouldn't say connection, but a bond between each other. How about that? A good bond, a friendship bond. And I like how there was a reason why Donald Sufferin's character is like a little secretive with his work. He's more of a private man. But I will say that Cross Bean's character, who is the main character of the film, wants his will to be revealed. And I cannot believe what happens near the end of the film. Right, there's a bunch of craziness that happens. That the main character in the film, who is played by Cross Bean, is right like, obsessed with the painting, the burnt orange heresy. 
and he does some crazy stuff to get to for him to want to get to reveal. Right, you won't believe what happens. But I'll let you guys see it for yourself. But yeah, this was really good. I really, really like this. So that's my movie review of the Burn Orange Heresy. Please stay tuned for the next movie review, which will be about Crazy Rich Asians. Goodbye. Hi guys! I just got out of the Marymount video. I just saw the burnt orange heresy. It's very good. And this is Marymount. I like it. Ooh, look at this guy. Don't know if you can see because it's dark.